All right, in this quick video, I'm going to talk about best practices when it comes to removing sutures that are of a running locking nature like this. If you have a continuous suture that needs to be removed, how do you remove it best? But first, please take a moment to hit subscribe, like, and follow along for more videos. Now, one thing that's important when you are removing sutures, uh, remember that this wound and the sutures themselves have been exposed for you know seven ten days however long these sutures have been in to the skin around it which has normal bacteria and so to prevent uh infection a good practice is to wipe down just lightly with a an an alcohol swab like this just over the top of these and around the skin edges not a ton because you don't want to have the alcohol do any damage to the wound or the the skin edges that have healed now at this point but just remember when you are pulling these through some of the suture could pull through the skin and you want to be careful like down into the tissue and you don't want to drag bacteria down through the tissue that also is important to keep in mind as we are uh, removing the suture because all of the suture that's on the surface, we want to remove this in a way that does not just pull that suture down through the tissue and track bacteria down through that tissue as well, okay? So commonly what I've seen in the past with, with these is uh, the suture will be cut at one end and then it's just drug out length by length and it continually gets longer as you remove a new segment every time. But you need to remember that as you're doing that, you're just dragging the whole suture with its bacteria through the tissue. So instead, what I recommend is getting your suture scissor right down near the edge of <clears throat> on this side and right near the skin as best you can without cutting the skin, cut at each one of these spots and notice that the suture that is already above the skin is going to stay above the skin and the suture that is within the skin is what gets pulled down in and so we're avoiding dragging suture down through. So we're gonna cut each one of these all the way up the full length of this laceration, just like that. And then before you do any pulling, cut right in the middle of these all the way up as well. So we're gonna remove this more like a, uh, what, what you would call a uh, simple interrupted. So we're basically turning this running locking into a simple interrupted. And now it's just as, as simple as using your forceps and usually your suture removal kits are going to come with forceps that don't have teeth like this one and you're just gonna grab and pull. And notice what I'm doing as I do this, I'm not pulling any suture that was outside of the skin down through the tissue thereby not dragging bacteria through the tissue as well. And so notice that uh, it all should be easily removed just like that. And then you would just uh, cover this with a nice clean bandage um, if needed, depending on the side of the laceration. And it would obviously be better healed than that. But hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or thoughts, feel free to put those in the comments. Otherwise, subscribe and follow along. Thank you.